So now let us look at some more deformers. And for that, I'm going to create a material again over here. Uh, I'm going to take something, let's say like a polygon, uh, not polygon, but something different this time. Let's say, for example, uh, an oil tank. All right, there you go. So here I have a material. I'm going to press NB so that I see the number of division right here. So I'm happy with the number of division that I see. So let's use a deformer over here. Uh, let's use something called Spearify right here. So there you go. There's the spear that we see. So you can move around the space right here. So let me drag it around right around the center just like that. I'm going to make the Spearify the child of the Iron Tank. And you can see that there is a change that you have. So if you were to go to Spearify, what it simply does is it creates regular objects into spear. So this is a regular object. And once you expand the radius, it actually spearifies the object, something like it is bloating off. You can also increase and decrease the strength, strength of the spear, as you can see. So this is more towards the spear, as you can see right there. Let's just try that out with a different object itself here as well, something like a cone, for example. Let's use spearify. So I'm going to go over here and use spearify. Let me make it a child of it. And you can see that the Spirify actually works. Let me decrease the strength, increase the strength. There is the Spirify. So what it simply does is it makes everything into a spear. So gives it something like a, uh, a morph object and so forth. So if you were to increase the height objective and so forth, you can see that the Spirify works even better. So if I were to decrease the size, you can see that now the Spirify works even better. Something like uh, a morph object. So that's one of the things that you can do right here. The other thing you have is smoothing. So for that, I'm going to uh, bring in something else. So I'm going to bring in uh, something like a pyramid maybe, which uh, has more of a pointy edges. Let me just increase the segment so that you, you have a bit of a faces to work with. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a uh, smoothing deformer right here. So let me just go over here and here the other deformer you have is smoothing. So let me make it a child of my pyramid here and you can see that the smoothing actually takes place. So it actually smoothens out everything as you can see. So now once I go into the smoothing, you can see that you can increase and decrease the strength. So it actually what it does is it smoothens out uh, any geometry that you have. So it's smooth. It's relax as well. So if I were to go with the relax, it gives a different object. Stretch is a different object as you can see right here. So let me just go back and go to smooth. So if I were to increase the smoothness, stiffness, you can arrange out how sharp it is. You can also keep the displacements uh, and you can also increase the iterations. As you can see that you can really work around with the smooth just like that. So that is how you can use the Spearify smoothing um, um, deformers. So let's look at the third one and that is bevel. So let me just remove the smoothing right here. So I got my default object. I'm going to go over here and now I'm going to select the bevel object. So I'm going to go over here. Let's see where's the bevel and bevel is located right over here. So let me just go over here, keep the bevel in the perimeter. And now you can see that there's a bit of a smoothness going around at the edges. So without the bevel, you can see that everything is sharp. And once you turn on the bevel, you can see that everything becomes smooth. So you want to create something like a wood texture. You can actually do this. So once you go on into the bevel and you can see that you can work around with the threshold of the angles and you can see that bevel can be applied to all of the um, faces just like that. If you want such an effect, but if I had to increase the angle threshold, you can see that the bevel works automatically. Once you increase and decrease the offset, you can see that the bevel actually works around to create a smooth type of edge. So you can decrease and uh, once you decrease the angle threshold, you can see that everything uh, actually works around just like that. So you really have a way to create a unique shape just like that. You can also increase the subdivision of the bevel as you can see right here increase decrease the angle threshold to see that there are a lot of subdivisions that you're working with just like that so that is how you can use the bevel and uh, just like that there's also bevel mode that you can use so there are different bevel modes that you can choose from there's samphire that you're using if you use solid there's much of a solid bevel with less polygons so i really like to use samphire because it is much more smoother to work with. So that's how you use the Spirify smoothing and bevel deformers inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.